Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you a lovely shirt that I made in the last couple of days and I'm super happy with it. And it's gonna be one of those special ones. Um, you're gonna see why. So this is the Bond shirt by Each to Stitch Patterns. Now last year around November, I really enjoyed making the Montana shirt by Each to Stitch. Um, I think it was a recent release back then. And I made mine sleeveless and I took the extra care and went the extra mile and made it with a special chiffon. So ever since I made that one, I really wanted to make another one. And because I know the fit of each to stitch is really good for me. So I'd been thinking about making more shirts after that good experience. Uh, when the Black Friday sale came along last year, I purchased the Bon shirt and the Mila shirt. Now about the Bon shirt. Um, it features uh, buttons all the way down as a shirt would. <laughs> it's got a really nice delicate V neckline uh, with a little mandarin collar all the way around. Uh, it's got an integrated facing uh, to finish off that button, uh, the buttons. Uh, it's got some bust shaping with some side bust darts and a more relaxed fit around the waist and hips but it still has some shaping in the design. I'm going to show you the line drawing so you can see all the views that are in the pattern. As you can see, there's a shirt and a dress and lots of sleeve options, long sleeve, three quarter length, short, flared. Um, for this uh, blouse, I've chosen the three quarter length sleeves and it has a little cuff on the end with slight gathering. Um, I don't usually make sleeves, but I'm gonna start making sleeves because why not, you know? <laughs> There is a time and place to have them and sometimes I look and I really want to wear sleeves today and I barely have anything because I've been making everything sleeveless so might as well. So I'm going to insert a little um, graphic here with the sizing information. Um, sizes double zero to 20. For the bust you can have measurements from 30 and an eighth to 45 inches and for the hips 33 and a quarter to 48 inches. Now, because the design is a relaxed fit, there is about a four inch ease around the bust and four and a half inch ease around the hips. So you might need to consider that because ease is always a personal preference. You know, some people are more comfortable with more or less ease, you know? So you gotta really look at the sizing charts and I'm gonna put here the sizing chart. Uh, my measurements put me anywhere from a 10 to a 12 sort of thing, but considering the ease involved and that I like a little bit less ease. I don't want things skin tight, but I don't want them that loose either. I decided to just make a straight size 10 because with the finished garment measurements there, I know I'm gonna fit into there comfortably. So that is what I did. The fabrics recommended a light to medium weight wovens with zero stretch. Uh, it mentions chambray, linen, rayon chalet, that sort of thing. Uh, it does not mention crepe or <laughs> chiffon, which are my favorites. Um, I made this one in chiffon and it still works out. You know, as long as it's, you know, zero stretch and you, you take the care to manipulate the fabric good, you're still gonna have a good result. Now, the fabric that I chose, I'm only gonna say that it's one of those that has been haunting me because I bought this in Bolivia around 2016. At the time, I saw that they had three different colorways and I only bought one and I'm kicking myself because so, it's such a pretty border print. And I bought the bluish greenish colorway. Um, I remember there was a violet one and like a pink one. It's one of those cases where the fabric you didn't buy comes to haunt you because I can still remember vividly. And I'm so silly I didn't get the other ones. <laughs> So um, I had to play around with the pattern pieces and place them um, intentionally on this fabric because it is a border print. I had to uh, cut the whole thing on the cross grain. But I mean, with this type of fabric, it doesn't really matter. Um, there's, n there's no difference really. Um, nothing's gonna go out of shape or get deformed or anything. So um, I filmed a little video for you showing you how I assess the bust starts, if they were the right height for me. And the most important bit is um, me fiddling with the integrated facing and the collar because actually the whole construction was really, really easy. It's just that that's that area of the shirt that took the longest and I took many extra steps to get a good result because of the chiffon. 
So yeah, have a look at that. Guys, I'm checking for the height of my apex uh, in relation to the dart on this shirt. I do that with every single pattern that has a side bust dart. I do want to make sure it's correct for me. So as always, I measure from the top to there. Now this pattern has actually a little circle there for each size that marks the apex. And you can see that the side bust dart is about an inch away for the C cup that this is drafted for. But it's actually three centimeters higher than my apex that I've drawn down there. So um, I have seen this before in other patterns and other people do this, but I haven't, next, I haven't really done it myself. So I've just drawn a rectangle there, you know, from the start there of the, of the dart. And I'm going to move it down by three centimeters, which is what I need. So this, if I measure now from the shoulder, from up there, this counting seam allowance down, it'll be at my correct apex there. So what I have to do is tape that down, fill that gap up with paper on the back, and then drew out these lines on the side. So I'm gonna do that. So here you can see where I've trued out the lines there to match that point there for the middle of the dart and then taken it down um, to the waist, you know, mark there. And that is where my new dart is. My apex has been lowered that amount that is here, which is about three centimeters for me. And now I can work with the pattern. I have partially constructed the, the blouse. Um, it's been really easy so far, just side seams, side bust starts, shoulder seams. And now this blouse is really cool because it has like an integrated facing. So that part there that you see is interfaced is open like that. And um, I'm going to show you how I put that together, that little part there. I have the collar already sewn and um, sort of I've turned it around and I've done some hand basting there to keep it you know in place because this chiffon is really shifty. You can see that this part there continues that shape and then it creates like that V there. So then I have to put on that collar once I'm done with that. I've got it inside out so you really can't see how, what the print looks like but this was like a border print um, fabric. And so I've played with the shades of the print and um, these are the little cuffs that are gonna go there so so far so good um this facing you had to turn it under and then sew it down and I would do that on a more sturdier fabric but because this is quite thin I decided to use bias binding there that I made out of green chiffon and I'm going to use that same bias binding to do the hem, the curved hem there, so it hangs nicer. Uh, so that's where I'm at. Super fun make. I'm really enjoying it. And I can't wait to show you what it looks like on the other side. Because here it sort of just looks white, but it's not. It's collar time. I have pinned on the collar all the way around. I'm choosing to do the visible top stitching on the top part of the collar. Because this is a mandarin collar, it will be standing. That's what you'll see. So I've got the pins there, then I took the extra step and hand basted it so the fabric won't shift on me because no matter how many pins you have, it's just they're still going to slide. After doing that, I um, hand basted it again. So I've turned that little seam allowance under and this is actually how it's going to be sewn, only all, it's all hand basted. Now I don't have to worry about fabric shifting anywhere and I can sew all the way around. And I'm going to show you that now. So I start sewing at the center back on the top part of the collar. I have my little special foot that helps me do that edge stitching really neatly. 
those places there at the collar I go really slowly I actually hand wheel and pivot and I take extra time there on those points of the collar because it's really tattletale there if you get it wonky it's so visible also I have sewn the whole shirt with green but for the collar because of the color difference in this fabric I've decided to top stitch with light gray so it blends in more with the color I have for the collar so um, yeah it's not fast this did take me a long time but it's worth it to get a nice finish then on those more straight uh, parts of the collar I can go faster but you know no rush take your time and you're gonna get a really neat collar there I'm pivoting turning around and finishing at the center back on the top okay so there you could see my fabric inside out inside out it just looked white you know but um, I am going to show you it now it looks like a painting actually <laughs> like from far away it looks like a work of art um, so yeah this is the fabric you can see it's got different designs this was at the bottom of the fabric so um, that had to be on the bottom because it is a directional print you can see the the tulips are going up I couldn't really place the fabric in a different way um, there is some unintentional pattern matching there you can see the buttons there <laughs> and the flower keeps going and same as the tulip there I did not plan that I actually wasn't fussed about what you know but you know when you don't plan things things work out and when you really try hard to pattern match it doesn't so I'm, I'm happy that it worked so as you can see um, it's got different shades it's darker at the bottom and it goes lighter on the top and I think that's good um, you know you want the darker colors on your hips at least I do <laughs> and the sleeves you can see have that print that sort of tie in with what's going on at the shoulders but then it sort of grades out to all these other colors um, it looks sort of like it was different fabric but it, it is the same fabric it's just a border print the light bits were on the top and then it went down to this print down there I chose to do the cuffs in the greenish in this sort of place I cut them out of scraps <laughs> so it's just to highlight the cuffs there and um, I use different thread um, for the collar because of the color there I did all the top stitching in, in gray so it would blend in with the colors and when I sewed the hem at the bottom I did it in dark green because that's what suited down there um, it's got a lovely curved hem you know super nice and when I when I do curved uh, hems I like using bias tape I made bias tape out of chiffon green chiffon that matches I think made out of chiffon it looks nice it hangs nice it doesn't like give it any different weights if I use like another fabric to make bias tape and inside the facing bit as you can see that this actually had to be folded in and top stitch that's that's how the instructions were and I would do that on a linen or a rayon I would do that but because of the nature of this fabric I didn't think top stitching around there was going to be very good so I just left the facing loose um, but I did finish the edges with the same bias binding I made for the hem okay that was a big effort to change it is so hot you can't even imagine <laughs> so here is my blouse you can see the lovely mandarin collar there and that little V feature there it's quite delicate it's not low cut at all it's just mid chest I would say very nice I like that and then you've got the buttons going all the way down side bust that's there that fit that finish right where I want them to be you can see where the shoulders are on the sleeves they're perfect I didn't need to adjust totally perfect setting in the sleeve was extremely easy there is enough ease around the cap for it to be nice and comfortable and move around but it was still very easy to set in the sleeve has enough ease for it to be super comfortable but still slim and that's how I like it um, I didn't do the gathers around here I made two little pleats instead just because it's, it was easier <laughs> um, let me step back so you can see the little curved hemline there the difference in the in the print there, the little tulips going on around there. I tried my best not to get a tulip in certain areas, but they do want to be there, but I, I don't mind. <laughs> uh, the back there. This doesn't have back 
um, waist studs, but it doesn't need them. It, it fits fine. I didn't think it was necessary to add that on, you know? So, yeah, I'm super, super happy with it. I absolutely love it. It's just so nice. And I'm gonna be making another one for sure. Look at this. It's so cute. <laughs> It looks like a painting, doesn't it? It looks like I'm wearing some sort of painting. I don't know, that's what I think. Anyway, I also wanted to let you know um, that recently I do have an affiliate link with each two stitch. I did it in the past. Um, last year, the videos I showed about the patterns, I just uh, put a link directly to the shop. But after making patterns for more than a year and being a tester, I can totally, totally vouch for the drafting the designs, the fit, super, super good quality patterns. So yeah, I'm happy, happy to have an affiliate link with um, each to stitch. And if you want to support me in a small way and you like each to stitch like I do, <laughs> you can purchase your patterns through my link and I get a small commission there that is gonna help support this uh, channel. So I just wanted to let you know that. That is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little bit informative. I hope you take the chance and make stuff in chiffon. It's really satisfying. I think the pieces just look so feminine. I just really like chiffon, you know, even though it's harder to work with, um, I do like it a lot. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you soon. Bye.